On June 15, 2025, Air India Flight AI-171 was scheduled for a routine journey from Ahmedabad, India to London's Heathrow Airport. The aircraft, a modern Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner, was filled with families, business travelers, and students, with a total of 243 souls on board. As torrential monsoon rains lashed the airport, the flight crew prepared for takeoff from runway 23. To the passengers and the crew, everything seemed normal for a departure in such weather conditions. The powerful Gen X engine spooled up, and the aircraft began its takeoff roll, lifting off the wet runway and climbing into the dark, stormy sky. It was a moment of transition from the ground to the air that happens thousands of times a day across the world. However, just seconds after the wheels left the tarmac, the routine flight turned into a catastrophic emergency. At a mere 186 feet above the ground, the aircraft's ascent abruptly stopped. The pilots were suddenly faced with a terrifying and almost unimaginable scenario, a complete loss of thrust from both engines simultaneously. The Dreamliner, a pinnacle of modern aviation technology, was suddenly without the power it needed to climb. The aircraft stalled, its nose pitching dangerously downward as it lost aerodynamic lift. 38 seconds after becoming airborne, the flight tragically ended, impacting the ground just 1.2 kilometers from the end of the runway. The crash was devastating, marking the first ever hull loss of a Boeing 787. The impact was violent and the aircraft disintegrated, striking an ambulance and a nearby medical college building. The human cost was immense, with 243 fatalities from the aircraft and an additional 10 lives lost on the ground. The scale of the tragedy sent shockwaves through the global aviation community, which had come to see the 787 as a symbol of safety and advanced design. The immediate question on everyone's mind was a simple but profound one. How could a state-of-the-art airliner with multiple layers of safety systems simply fall out of the sky right after takeoff? Investigators from India's Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau, alongside experts from the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board and Boeing, converged on the scene. Their mission was to sift through the wreckage and analyze the flight data and cockpit voice recorders, the so-called black boxes, to piece together the final moments of flight AI-171. The flight data recorder, recovered from the debris, held the precise timeline of the failure. The cockpit voice recorder captured the crew's desperate final words. We lost everything. No thrust. This haunting message provided a clear, chilling clue to the nature of the emergency that overwhelmed the experienced flight crew in a matter of seconds. The primary cause of the AI-171 crash was a sudden and catastrophic electrical failure that occurred at the most critical moment of the flight. Investigators discovered that water had seeped into a crucial component known as the main power relay box. This happened during pre-flight preparations when ground power was disconnected from the aircraft in the heavy rain, allowing moisture to enter an improperly sealed connector. This water ingress caused a short circuit, or arcing, within the relay box. This event triggered an uncommanded power transfer failure, which had an immediate and disastrous effect on the aircraft's two engines, which are controlled electronically. The engines on the Boeing 787 are managed by a system called the Full Authority Digital Engine Control, or FADEC. This system is essentially the electronic brain of the engine, controlling everything from fuel flow to thrust output. In the case of AI-171, the electrical failure in the power relay box cut off the power supply to the FADEC units for both engines. Without power, the FADEC systems could no longer command the engines to produce takeoff thrust. As a result, both engines simultaneously rolled back from 92% power to a state known as ground idle, which is the lowest possible power setting, providing virtually no thrust for flight. Inside the cockpit, the pilots were instantly inundated with a flood of warnings and alarms. The master caution light illuminated, and messages for engine fail left and right flashed across their screens, indicating both engines had failed. At the same time, the aircraft's sophisticated fly-by-wire flight controls reverted to a more basic direct mode due to the electrical disruption. This sudden loss of automation, combined with the loss of thrust, created a situation of extreme confusion and high workload. The crew was grappling with multiple, simultaneous emergencies, while the aircraft was barely a few hundred feet in the air, with no time to diagnose the complex problem. Tragically, the crew's attempts to respond were futile given the short time frame and the nature of the failure. 
the flight data recorder shows that they instinctively pulled back on the controls to continue climbing. But without engine power, this action only increased the aircraft's angle of attack until it stalled. While there is a procedure for restarting the engines, it takes longer than the 25 seconds the crew had before the stall occurred. They did not have enough altitude or time to complete the relight sequence or activate the emergency power selector, which might have restored some systems. Their struggle was a testament to how quickly a survivable incident can become catastrophic at low altitude. While the immediate cause of the crash was water ingress into an electrical box, the investigation revealed several contributing factors that created the conditions for the disaster. One of the most significant was a pre-existing maintenance issue with the very component that failed. The power transfer relay unit on the aircraft had been showing signs of previous thermal damage. Instead of being replaced, the issue was repeatedly deferred under minimum equipment list regulations for two weeks leading up to the accident. This meant the aircraft was legally allowed to fly, but with a known vulnerability in a critical system that was not as robust as it should have been. The design of the Boeing 787's engine control system also played a critical role. The aircraft's architecture relies heavily on electrical power, and in this specific failure scenario, there was no physical or mechanical backup for the engine controls. The loss of electrical power to the FADEC units did not cause the engines to shut down completely. Instead, it caused them to freeze at their last commanded state from a powered system, which in this case was ground idle. This lack of a fail-safe design that would maintain a higher thrust setting in case of total electrical failure to the controllers proved to be a fatal design flaw that had not been fully anticipated. The severe weather conditions were another link in the accident chain. The torrential rain in Ahmedabad was not just a backdrop to the tragedy, it was an active participant. The downpour created the exact conditions that allowed water to penetrate the poorly sealed electrical connector during the ground power unit disconnection. Had the weather been clear, or had the connector's environmental seals been in perfect condition, the initial electrical fault would likely never have occurred. The heavy rain exacerbated a latent maintenance issue and a design vulnerability turning them into an active threat at the worst possible moment of the flight. Finally, the element of human factors, specifically crew confusion, cannot be overlooked. The pilots were faced with a scenario that they had likely never trained for. A dual engine power rollback on takeoff without an actual engine flameout. The cascade of warnings, coupled with the reversion of flight controls to direct mode, created an overwhelming and disorienting environment. Their training would have focused on single-engine failures or dual-engine flameouts at higher altitudes, not a complete and instantaneous loss of thrust from idle engines just after liftoff. This startle factor likely impeded their ability to quickly diagnose the root cause and take the precise, unconventional actions needed to have any chance of recovery. In the immediate aftermath of the tragedy, Aviation authorities around the world took swift action to prevent a recurrence. Within 24 hours, regulators like India's DGCA, the European EASA, and the US FAA issued an emergency airworthiness directive. This order mandated immediate moisture integrity inspections for the power relay box on all operational Boeing 787s globally. Furthermore, it temporarily restricted airlines from dispatching 787s with any deferred maintenance items related to the aircraft's power transfer systems. These urgent measures were designed to ground any aircraft with a similar vulnerability until the risk could be fully assessed and mitigated across the entire fleet. Boeing, as the manufacturer, also responded with urgency. The company issued a service bulletin directing airlines to replace the specific power connectors with a new fully sealed version that would prevent any future water intrusion. Looking further ahead, Boeing began a comprehensive review of the 787's electrical architecture, specifically exploring design changes to create dual redundant power paths for the FADEX systems. The goal is to ensure that a single point of failure, like the one that doomed AI-171, can never again lead to a total loss of engine control. These engineering fixes are fundamental to restoring confidence in the aircraft's design philosophy. The crash of AI-171 resulted in a profound loss of life that extended beyond the passengers and crew. 
The final death toll included 253 people, with casualties on the ground highlighting the devastating impact of crashes in populated areas. The accident had a significant financial and operational impact as well. Boeing's stock value dropped, and Air India temporarily reduced its long-haul flight schedule. For the families of the victims, the crash left an irreplaceable void. The investigation, led by India's AAIB, is committed to providing them with answers and ensuring that such a tragedy is not repeated. Ultimately, the lessons learned from AI-171 will make future air travel safer. The accident served as a stark reminder of the dangers of over-reliance on complex electrical systems without sufficient redundancy. It highlighted the need for improved environmental sealing on critical components and exposed gaps in pilot training for complex cascading failure scenarios at low altitudes. Upcoming regulatory changes, guided by the final investigation report, will likely mandate design retrofits across the 787 fleet and introduce new training protocols for pilots. Out of this terrible loss comes the invaluable knowledge that will be built into the next generation of aircraft and safety procedures honoring the memory of those lost on flight AI-171.